Hi, I'm Kathy, and today we're going to be showing how Tulip can be used to easily monitor quality and do quality inspection on parts. So in this demo, we've partnered with Stanley Black & Decker, who is rolling out Tulip across 156 sites. Since they have so many sites, they'd like to provide a standard set of apps that provides standardization across all of their processes. So for example, they've constructed this global app library, which is an app in Tulip that navigates to other apps. In this case, we'll be walking through the quality app, which operators can use to perform a standard set of procedures to perform quality inspection on parts. So let's go ahead and navigate to the quality app. And now that we've gone into the quality app, we can see that the operator should select both the line and the part that they're performing quality inspection on. In this case, we're going to be doing quality inspection on a drill part. This is the stator. So we'll select line one, which is the line the operator is at, and the part. And then the operator can click begin instruction. Now we'll see that a list of steps shows up for what the operator has to do. Um, something interesting is that if we go behind the scenes and we look at the app behind this operator flow, here we can see this control plan has many more steps than are being displayed in this operator flow. So when we selected the line and the part, it dynamically selected which parts of this control plan the operator has to perform. Now let's go ahead and perform the operator quality inspection procedure. We can see that Tulip is showing exactly what has to be measured in this step. So we'll take the part and we'll take this digital caliper and now we'll measure this part as exactly as shown. Here we can measure the part and we can click data and we can see that the measurement automatically shows up in Tulip. So we'll go ahead and save this value and then it tells us to move on to the next step, which is measuring a different dimension of this part. So we'll go ahead and we'll measure this as well. And again, send the data to Tulip and it populates the measurement again. If you notice that there's this little measurement diagram, this is actually a custom widget, which is a new feature in Tulip, where the user can define a graphic that will show the measurement. And this isn't a standard um, Tulip widget, it's something that the user was able to implement themselves. One other thing to note is that we have a control chart that shows all of the previous measurements. In this control chart, you can set the bounds of what the upper and lower normal measurement values are, and you can see which parts are in and outside of that measurement range. So moving on, we can save this value, and the last step is visual inspection. So this requires operator input, where the operator will confirm that the terminals are not broken, as they were told to do so in the app. So in this case, the terminals aren't broken, so we'll go ahead and select pass. And now, since this is digital and we can capture data about parts, um, we're gonna go ahead and take a picture of every part so that we can go back later and confirm what was wrong with it. So here we can go, and we can capture a picture of the part, and we can go ahead and save that. And this app now tells the operator that this part fails. Note that the operator didn't have to know anything about what would make the part a good part or a bad part. The logic in the Tulip app automatically detects whether the part was good or bad. So we'll go ahead and place this unit in the MRV bin since it fails. Now, so this was um, the walkthrough of the quality app, but we said that Stanley Black & Decker is deploying across many sites, and some of these sites are in different countries. So for example, let's say that you're an operator in Germany and you would like to use this same app. We actually have a feature now where let's go ahead and log in as a user in Germany. So I'll log in as badge ID one, which is Erika Musterman, who's a German employee. And now we can see that this app is displayed instead of in English, in German. So this app is standardized not only across different lines and different parts, but also across different parts of the world. So that's it. In this demo, we learned about digital data capture, standardization, internationalization, custom widgets, and more. Thanks for watching.